compact, but the advice is indispensable. We've been dealing with what kinds of domain names to register, what to avoid, but uh, we planned for a last session on what actually sells, what makes for a great name, uh, what, what does a marketable name look like. I'm going to invite a couple of distinguished guests on stage to provide us with a short uh, checklist, their, their opinions and their perspective on, uh, by watching a lot of domain name sales on what would actually sell. So let me quickly invite Doron, the founder of FT.com, a tool which each domainer knows about. <laughs> Thanks, Doron. I'd also like to invite uh, Manmeet Pal Singh, the founder of Domain X Events and the advisor to the board. Deepak Ramay, Deepak, where are you? Can I see you? Hi, hi, Deepak's right here. Uh, Deepak is an ace investor. He lives in the US now, but he's big on domain names, invests a lot. He's been around for a very, very long time, and I'm sure he can share some wonderful tips with that. Along with domain name investing, Deepak is also an accredited registrar, and he owns domains like buckets.com, nachos.com. You can definitely ask him about one word generics. Lastly, this panel will be convened by uh, Pankaj Vijayvargya who has been recognized by the Indian and German governments for facilitating trade, digital trade between the two countries. Uh, all right, guys. So, <clears throat> uh, I th I think why Gaurav and Manmeet have planned this session because of of this this uh, burning desire in every domainer's heart. Will my domain sell or not? And even if it will sell or not. So I guess uh, we have gathered a very experienced panel here. Okay, Mr. Deepak Ramani, Register uh, Doron, and Manmeet, of course, the founder of TNOI. And the, they are the guys I, I personally feel that they would be able to answer exactly, will this sell or not? So I guess um, you all must be ready. Be ready with your domain names, okay? This is going to be a completely interactive session, right, right Manmeet? Okay, this is how it is going to be. This is going to be a completely interactive session where the audience would, you know, throw their domain names to us and uh, the experienced panel here would uh, would would uh, appraise them or would uh, have a view about them and also tell whether it's sellable or not and if they consider any value to it you guys ready okay so whatever extension be dot in dot com dot club dot gtlt dot ea dot wo whatever you have got with you just throw them uh, to these guys and uh, let's evaluate where we all stand Okay, all right. So, uh, how many domains averagely we have to uh, take, <coughs> Manmeet, uh, Gaurav? Kitne le sakte hum? Uh, time limit ke hisab se? Five names. All right. So, for those five names, uh, we have Inderpal Singh, who's uh, who's who's got a couple of goodies for you which are specifically related to dot .in domain names, I think. Yes? Okay. Okay, and, and one last thing, one last thing. You know, this is, this is I'm saying from my personal experience that like, like just a mother considers his or her, her, her baby to be the best one of uh, like uh, in the world. So even if you do not get the value that you were imagining, don't get disheartened. You know, this, this happens with me every day that people ask that, oh, my domain worth is $1 million. When I say, okay, it's pigeon shit. So <laughs> their reaction goes something like, oh, no, this, this can't be. So uh, I would just like to say that, uh, uh, you know, be, be patient and uh, whatever these guys say. So just try to follow that why it has been said and try to think and, uh, uh, you know, invest with a better mind next time. All right? So I guess you guys are ready? Okay, so let's start with the first name from, from the audience. Who? 
Zoroastrian dot in. No, 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 no. Yeah, I think we shouldn't take names from the first row. Yeah, not not from the first row. I mean, you will say, you know, Indy owns premium dot in. So if we will ask the valuation of premium dot in, we are not going to be able to tell that. Okay. So from the audience, okay, that spice. Sorry, S. Dot in. Yeah, please, spice, please. Dot, spice dot in. S P I C E. S P Y S. Okay, spice. So what 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 do you guys say? Spice. Uh, uh, a lot of spice. I mean, a spy and a lot of spies. So what's the question? It's of course it's sellable. But uh, Manmeet will give you a better understanding on the price here. It's a dot .in. <laughs> okay. All right, so Manmeet uh, is going to be the spy for it. <laughs> uh, Manmeet said he will pay you 200 US dollars just now, but no. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 200 it is? Um, Say sold. Say sold. Sold? Sold. Great. Uh, Garov asked me to uh, actually shortly introduce me because uh, not many of the people here know me, but uh, I'm a co-founder co of a domain name management software company called FT, um, and I'm a publisher of a blog called DN Geek. So I write a lot about domain names, but mainly .coms. But what I'm specialized in is brandables, and I think the domain name you have is a brandable because it's, uh, it's spiced, but then it's spelled, uh, you know, kind of in the wrong way. And um, I think it's kind of those names you have to sit on for years until there's a company that says, oh, we're going oh, we to name ourselves like Spice, exactly with that combination. And then you might have the end user, end user knocking on your door and say, you know, hey, we need that domain name. And we're an Indian company and the dot com is already taken. So then you have a good opportunity to negotiate a good price. But others than that, I don't think there's a lot of lick liquid value. It's one of those names you need to hold on for years and you probably need to have just hundreds of them or thousands of them and then you will be selling you know, one to five percent annually of that kind of names. But if you just have that name and a few others, there's not a big chance you're gonna sell it in the short term. That's, that's my opinion. Okay, I, I, uh, yeah. Yeah, so I, I could, I would love, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I think I, I go with what Doron has um, said. I, I have a similar opinion. Uh, well, spies.com is actually spelled as S-P-I-E-S, -E but you have the domain which is S-P-Y-S. So I would, pro I, I would pronounce it as spy S, spy, and then S capital, uh, another word or a letter. Uh, yeah, so it, it's completely brandable. For me, it's a brandable name. Uh, as Doron said, you'll have to have a uh, bunch of them to have at least one um, one sell out of those bunch. And then you'll probably end up dropping most of them at the end of the year or renew a couple of them and then you grab more. Yeah. So I, believe, I, I personally believe that you have uh, this, this will sell, but you might have to sit on it for years. Um, as Doron said, wait for the company or some company who wants to brand themselves as SPYS rather than SPIES. So yeah, keep it. I would say keep it. I would say keep it. It's a short name. Um, India is growing. India is growing. Um, and you never know. You never know. I, I have an interesting name, which is called CHOR.IN, and I got an offer from Bangladesh. <laughs> I, I mean, so CHOR. You, you all know it's called Chor, right? Yeah, we do. <laughs> I'm sorry for the people who are not uh, who are not aware of the um, Hindi language. Chor means thief. Thief dot in. Yeah. If if we are to translate it, so and I got an offer from Bangladesh. Obviously, I politely re rejected it. Uh, yeah, so keep it, keep it. It's a good name, brandable, but don't expect a lot of money out of it. Yes. Okay, okay. I guess that answers your question, right? So we are very Hello. short on time and Hello. we are going to, you know, finish it up very quick. So I would request the uh, respected members to, you know, 
just just uh, uh, you know uh, speak it in a very quick manner please Hello? yeah next question yeah. Uh, Sir, from I have yeah a, that I, guy i have a domain you name. yep yeah yeah <laughs> tell me yeah uh, i have a domain Sir, ek minute yeah you edev.in e so, dev developer d e v e dev marketplace for in, uh, indian developers e d e v yeah so e d e v dot in is here that that that's a short form for e developers yeah market plus marketplace for indian developers yep. like freelancer oh yeah and 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 please be a little bit so quick please so it's e yeah. and then dev for development yep. right e dev okay. in uh, in dot in or dot com dot in dot in dot in yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it will be great in .com, you know, great brand role for .com. But um, if I say great brand role for .com, um, I think also it has potential in the in the .in extension. You know, I mean, I'm a .com investor, but um, the the guy was just up talking about uh, .in. Uh, he showed the the threads on name pros, people looking to buy .in. I'm one of those guys, you know. I, I'm a .com investor, but now I'm actually looking to get a few dot ins in my portfolio because you know okay yeah. great hello uh, excuse um, me my opinion is like a name like this um, i think the dot ins that sell for big money now are probably still the the one word generic short short names right the the ones that sell for good money but i think a name like that there will definitely be a company uh, down the line that likes you know um, IDEF technologies, or you know, yeah, there's so many uh, IT tech, tech startups there. I think it's a good name. I don't know. Difficult for me to put a value on it because I'm not a .in investor. Okay. But it definitely has value, and um, I think it's a good name. All right. Yeah. So, so I figured that answers this question. I need one non.in name. We already yeah. have Hello. two .in names. Hello. So, someone from the behind. Yeah, back. Yeah. Yeah. So I have a domain name. Yep. Be quick. Yeah. I have a domain name like freecaro.in and .com. Sorry? Freecaro.in and freecaro.com. Freecaro? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, cash karo, flipkart karo, paytm karo, freecaro. Freecaro. Okay. Freecaro. So, so I guess uh, the people who understand Hindi would be able to freecaro. Freecaro.com. And .in. Dot in and I'm sorry, uh, just before we move ahead, the guy who owns edev.in, um, I'm ready to buy it for $100. <laughs> okay, you got a buyer here? All right. I, I, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm ready to buy for $100. Right now. Right now. So there's 150 right there. Okay. No, no. Yes. No. There's 200 right there, bro. $250. 250 right there. Okay, this is Dude, not a live you, auction. You've got you've got a game going. Two fifty dollars. Do you want to accept that? Yes. I'm sorry. He he's offering two hundred fifty. Okay, I'm sorry, guys, but th this is not a live auction. Maybe we will have one next time. Okay. No. And so so two fifty. So yes or no? Yes. Okay. You, you got have it. a deal, brother. Aap dono baat kar lo. Deal goes kar lo. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I have okay. a domain. All right. Uh, and I have a since domain. we are running short of one time, domain, one. the last, la, the last domain the of last the session, domain. which is not dot in and not dot com, exactly. something apart from dot com and dot in. Okay. Okay. So, uh, who's that going to be? Who's that last name going to be? Guys, guys, let's make let us let us make it a very uh, yeah, decent yeah. and uh, just last one. Uh, okay, a sir, lively you lead. session rather than rather than ho hogging the whole place. Yeah. Let, let let the moderator handle it, please. Yeah. yeah it's Mr. Techy. M R T E C H I dot com. Sorry. Mr. Techy dot com. Mr. Techy. T E C H I dot com. M. M R T E C H Y. M I. Mr. Techy dot com. It was not supposed to be a dot com, but okay, all right, we'll 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 take it. Okay, I'll I'll give one last chance for a non dot com and dot uh, non dot in name, the very last domain. So Mr. Techie, with a y or uh, with with uh, T E C H I E. Hello. T E C H I, Mr. Techie. Excuse me. So, yeah, uh, uh, please be a little bit quick. 
Okay, so let me go on this one. This is uh, one of the names I like to buy in .com, you know. It's, uh, you want to look for two keyword brandables, you know. Something that's uh, memorable, uh, you know, easy to say, uh, you know, uh, fun. I think Mr. Techie makes for a cool brand. Um, you know, as long as it's spelled the right way, you know, it's Mr. Techie. But um, I will definitely keep the name, it's a good name. And, um, you know, I think it will sell. Um, if you get an end user to it, you probably aim for, um, you know, two to three thousand US. That's, um, yeah, mid four figures, yeah. But uh, you have to, uh, there has to be a company that really wants to be called Mr. Techie. You cannot do any outbound for it. You cannot go calling around like, hey, I owe Mr. Techie, you know, what do you think of it? There has yeah. to be a company that thinks, hey, we want to be Mr. And Techie, and they reach out to you, but keep it. Okay, guys, uh, yeah. so this was it. I'm, I'm really sorry, but we have, uh, we are really short of time. Else I had plans to, you know, appraise 20 names. Bilgul time ni bacha, sir. Bilgul time ni bacha. Manmeet, bilgul time ni bacha. You can ask, you can contact us, guys, personally, Hello. and we'll evaluate all of your names. Don't worry. So thank